Hey guys, what's up? It's Skid here. Uh, this is a little loud. Hold on, let me just uh, fix my volume. Okay, that's better. Mark, Mark. L18, uh, Pedronian, Helvane, Sinkships, Tron, 5 hello. So yeah, so uh, I could read the writing on the wall. Rome was the clear uh, leader in the clubhouse for a nation to play. So we're going to play a Roman campaign of Civilization VI. I've never played this game. It was on sale uh, last weekend, and I love Civilization games. Just haven't tried this one yet, so uh, I'm very excited about this. So let's... Set it up. Let's do. Let's, well, let's do game options, I guess, first. I uh, don't know what most of this is. We'll see. Uh, quick movement, blah, blah, blah. Probably don't want any of this. Graphics. Uh, this is probably all fine. English. Yeah, I speak that. Interface. Nah, nah, nah. Key bindings. Don't care. Application. Alright, fine. Uh. All right, additional content tutorial. All right, well, we're just gonna go right into it. Uh, so let's see, we'll create a game. That's what we're gonna do. Uh, so I think the uh, default difficulty is Prince, which is, from what I understand, is neutral. There's no bonuses to you or any of the AI opponents. Uh, Oh, disable the intro. Well, I'll watch it this first time, because I've never seen it, but uh, I will in future. Uh, game speed standard. That sounds fine. Map type continents is cool. I'll do a standard size map. Um, let's see. That set up? Let's just check this. Oh, wait. Oh, I got to go back and get my Lida. All right, so Rome... Where's Rome here? Aha! The Emperor Trajan! Excellent. Alright, so what kind of bonuses do we get? All cities start with an additional city center building. Starts with a monument building in the ancient era. That sounds good. Uh, Photon Chief and Todd went out. Hello. Uh, all roads lead to Rome. All cities you found or conquer start with a trading post. I love that. If trade route is within range... Of your capital, they also start with a road to it. That's good too. And trade routes are an additional plus one gold for passing through trading posts in your own cities. Sweet. Legion. Yes, love the Roman legionaries. Uh, they can build a Roman fort. That's cool. And a bath. Uh, district unique to Rome for city growth replaces the aqueduct district. Find city of fresh water. Uh, city center, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's it replaces the aqueducts, and it sounds a little better, so that's awesome. Unclear Gamer, hello! Um, Alright, yeah, so we're gonna do that. Um, I'm so excited. I've, I literally have never seen any of the anim... I've seen some of the animations, I've never seen the intro or anything, so let's... Uh, Nick Millinder, hello! Alright, so let's, uh, let's get this started. From the first stirrings of life beneath water, the great beasts of the Stone Age. To man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Cast your net wide, <laughs> O Trajan, Emperor of mighty Rome. Your legions stand at the ready to march out and establish the largest empire the world has ever seen. If you can truly get all roads to lead to Rome, yours will be an empire of great riches and luxuries. Surely then our citizens will proclaim you as their best ruler. The Optimus Princeps. Princeps. Oh, great on my nose, Sean Bean. <laughs> Don't mispronounce. There's no soft C in classical Latin. But that is awesome. I love that Sean Bean is doing it. It is... I. Uh, makes it a little, uh, a little misty to th remember Leonard Nimoy, but, uh, that's a really good replacement. Uh, so read all that. Trajan, of course, was the second of what 
Gibbon described as the five good emperors following Nerva and uh, preceding Hadrian. Uh, and yeah, he, uh, I think Hadrian actually presided over the Roman Empire at its largest point, but he got it to that point. So that's, I'm, I'm excited. Let's, let's do this. Let's see what happens. Oh, I guess there was no intro. As your personal advisor, I am qualified to assist you in all matters related to ruling our civilization. I am at your service. I don't know. You sound like a wildling to me. I think it's a... I think she's a mole. Uh, I'm new to save six. I don't know if this is going to be... All right, so... Interesting. All right, so... Oh, we've got some jade here. A luxury resource. That's good. All right, we're on this grass wood woodland grassland tile got some cows here a bunch of sto oh, a lot of stone We've got horses rice uh an oasis um this might be it civilization tends to plop your first settler down on a pretty nice place to start building so i think i might just start here at the at the head of this river here um so let's see found city is it right there so let's do it rome shining beacon of the ancient world um all right yeah it seems like we're they dropped us down in it's kind of an asian type area let's see how that works out all right so i've got my my warriors here so let's, let's see i guess we right click ah more more stone oh there we go let's move the screen a little bit so i believe that crossing a river will end my turn oh but there's a, a thing there there's a little settlement thing that has tr prizes so is that it? Am I done? Yeah, I think I'm done. Ah, choose production. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to move the chat screen here. Oh, yes. Yes, I'm sorry. I will try to explain things uh, as I go. So, uh, although this, I think from what I've seen, this is pretty different. This is the most different civilization from the the ones that preceded it but so yeah so i had a settler i founded the city so these little items here these little the stone the cows those are resources um that can either gain you like luxuries that you can trade with other sieves or they give you bonuses to production or food or whatever it is so since it's a small uh, city, the smallest possible. It's got one population. Um, this is the extent of the land it can possibly work. Now, the, the only thing that sucks is these desert tiles here are useless. Like, there's nothing I can do with those. But this oasis is, yeah, good for one gold and three food. So, basically the way it works is um, so the city has one population so it can work one tile. Uh, and each number in this population uh, bar here uh, equals two food that you need to produce to support them. So, uh, so if it's if we're producing two food, we're just supporting that one population. But if you produce any more, you'll start produ to produce surplus food, and then that's when you get population growth. So let me see. Um, well, let's okay. What are we so? What are we gonna build here? Um, I think I would like to build just for safety's sake. I think I'm gonna build another warrior. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, and then oh, gotta choose research. So this should be familiar to most of you. Um, so I gotta pick a new a technology to research. And I think this, yeah, so this uh, this is recommended here, whatever the uh, Northern Advisor uh, has uh, offered up to us. So, animal husbandry 
is probably a good way to go because then that will give us the ability to exploit these cows. <laughs> I've always wanted to exploit uh, some cows. And, uh, and these horses too, when we get to that point, uh, when we grow, we'll be able to like expand our reach into this, this square, this hex here. Um, uh, mining is also really good because we've got all this stone work here. Uh, and that'll increase, that should increase our productivity. But I want to grow as quickly as I can, so I'm going to go for animal husbandry first, and it's also one of the quickest, because I think it takes nine turns. Um, all right, so let's move on to our next turn. Uh, Astrophysicality, hello. <laughs> McMillander, hello. Uh, yeah, this will go all the way to the space age, or it should, assuming I live survive that long. Uh, so yeah, it'll it'll go all the way, baby. All right, let's go to the next turn. Um, I don't know how many other sieves there are on the board, but uh, all right. So I'm this little patch of huts there uh, means it has little prizes to whoever can get there first. So I'm gonna cross the river. Ooh, bananas! Oh, yeah, it's a very, very tropical setting for our little island. Not, it's not an island. It's a city. Uh, all right. So next turn. Yeah, right now we're at uh, 3920 BC, and we have a turn cap of 500, um, but probably won't won't ever get to that point. All right, so let's check this out. Oh. Cool. So I think we got a free scout, right? How do I move the... Hello. How do I move the screen? Wait, what did I get? I, I thought I got something. Uh, unit needs orders. What did I get? Did I get a scout? I don't see it. Um. Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't know what happened there. Uh. Oh, there's oh there's fish here. This is a very rich area. Alright, so let's move up here. And... Oh, there's the scouts. Okay. So, let's send our scouts. And they're faster. They're not as good at combat, but they're much faster. So let's send our scout out down this way. More jade. I will be the jade regent! <laughs> Look, Millinder, I I'll I'm down for that. I'll totally do that. Uh, all right, we will end our turn. All right, so we've got some uh, rainforest up here. Let's check out towards these bananas. We've got mountains here. More bananas. We're going to be the banana uh, empire. All right, and south we go. And wow, this is tundra down here, right? Wow, interesting. Um, okay, all right. I still don't really understand how the... Oh, here it is. All right, center mouse button. Dr. House, hello! Bardic Inspired, hello. Um, a Banana Republic, that's what I wanted to say. Thank you, Todd. All right, let's move on to our next turn. Okay, so seeing that this is Tundra, oh, barbarians. Okay, barbarians are to be feared, especially in the early part of the game, if this is anything like previous iterations. So, might pull back. Um, but and as I was saying, th since there's Tundra down here, yeah, okay, so this is the southern southernmost edge of the map. Um, must be some global warming going on because we're this far south and there's still a bunch of... Uh, I guess it's just a small map. I don't know. Uh, all right, so let's close in on the banana sector here. Um, all right, so... I wonder what will... All right, let's move the scouts 
what is this? Marsh. Marshland. It's three food. That's good. Alright. And the barbarian will have to cross this river to get to us, so we'll be able to retreat if we need to. Gelgedid! Hello! Yes, it has been a long time. K. Lesson, hello. Um, Alright, so let's move on to the next turn. Two turns we get our new warriors. All right, he doesn't want to mess with us. Uh, all right, let's see. So, this this is hill hilly land. So this is this is difficult terrain, basically. So, uh, all right, great. Oh, there's what is this? Sugar, sugar, do 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 do. I want that sugar. All right, so that barbarian wanted nothing to do with us. Uh, and a sheep, a sheep down here. So I think. From what I was reading, that a city at its maximum extent can exploit tiles up to three hexes away. So we can reach to down to here. Oh, we get this jade down here. So Rome will be the jade capital of this Earth planet, Earth type planet. Um, all right, we're all moved, right? Oh no, we still got movement here. So let's check out these sheep. It's a nice horn sound. I love the aesthetic so far. I love the art design with what you can physically see uh, in this. And then the fog of war being this old parchment map. And then what you have explored but you can't see into currently being like this. I love that. Um, right. Okay. Let's go. Let's move on then. Oh, there's weed up here too. Enacting That's good. New policies in our government can be of great benefit. Great benefit. All right. Thank you. At his best, Ooh. man is the noblest of all animals. Separated from law and justice, he is the worst. Go Sheffield Wednesday. All right. So let's. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know exactly how this works, but let's. Let us change some policies. All right, so... Uh, all right, I, get, uh, I don't really know how this works. Okay, but I think... Okay, so this... We have the option of enacting, at this point, military policies and economic policies, policies and we can choose from these. So... Okay, so for military policies, we have survey, which will double experience for recon units, so our scout will level up quicker just by exploring. Uh, discipline plus five unit combat strength when fighting barbarians. I'm going to take that one. Uh, that seems good, because I'm afraid of barbarians. Uh, game volume up a little bit. Okay, uh, hold on one second. All right, hopefully that's better. Let me know. Justice. <laughs> All right, so economic policies. We can do urban planning, plus one production in all cities, or God King, plus one faith and one plus one gold in the capital. For now, and I don't know how often we can change this, but for now, since we only have the one city, we're not producing any faith at the moment, which I don't even know what that does yet. Um... You know, yeah, I'm gonna go for the increased production. Urban planning. Uh, Alright, let's confirm our policies. Uh, yes. Great. Alright. Alright. Let us move. Oh, I love that sugar. Alright, so let's move here. Oh, there's more wheat! Oh, look at this rich heartland down here. And we have yet to run into another sieve. Um. All right, this is a little difficult terrain. Let's move into, oh shit. Okay, so there is a barbarian encampment. Uh, I may converge, once the second warrior comes out, I may converge them on this area uh, to try to take them out. So in the meanwhile, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna move back and start going the other way. 
Oh, choose a civic, what? Oh, okay, so I think there are separate tech trees for technology and civics. Um, okay, so foreign trade or craftsmanship. Uh, okay, so let's improve. It's, I guess it's automatically unlocked once you improve three tiles with a builder. Um, so that's is good. So what is that? That helps our builders. Oh, this looks good. A goge. Uh, the yeah, goge was the um, it's like a military academy uh, in um, ancient Greece. Uh, plus fifty percent production towards class ancient and classical era melee and ranged units. That sounds pretty good. I think uh, foreign trade is great, but since we haven't run into any other civs yet, I'm going to go for... Uh, let's ask our advisor. Oh, I recommend them both. Hey, thanks. You're so helpful. All right, so that's... Um, um, right, okay, so that's it. You like that, that wallpaper, Bardic-inspired? That's... Uh, that's our main man, Robert Atkins. He, he's, he did those. He did one for Della that's available to our uh, $10 level and up Patreon uh, donors. Uh, so anyone who's in that group can tell us how awesome that is. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I want to go back this way. Um, Rosie Posey, hello. All right, so I'm... All right, that's all right. Let's head back this way. Check out this area. Um, oh, there's deers down here. Delicious deers. Um, Endless Legend. I played a little bit of Endless Legend. Uh, I just could not get past the learning curve, though. It, it wasn't that bad. But I just I couldn't. Remember. All right, next turn. I'm excited for the next art, too. I really am. All right. Uh, I don't even know who it's going to be, I think. Hopefully Baron. I'd love to see what he does with Baron. Bold and saucy, hello. All right, more stone. All right. Let's send the scouts uh, this way. What can he or she see? I don't know. All right. The population is now pigs. two. Dogs look up to us. Cats look down on us. Pigs treat us as equals. <laughs> That's a good quote. From the old master, Winston Churchill. All right, so... All right, let's head down this way. More cows, more wheat. This is a very rich region. And here is our second warrior. So let's start sending him down. Uh, great. And then, okay, this is difficult terrain. They're both difficult. Oh, there's more filthy, dirty, dirty barbarians. And we're done. All right. Terrified of. <laughs> he was a bit of a bastard, but he was the, the right man at the, for the right time. Uh, oh, new research. Yes, because we got our animal, animal. Husbandry. So, uh, I definitely want to go for. Uh, oh, grain. I always go for pottery because uh, building a granary gives you a lot more food. I always love building granaries in the cities because it lets you grow a lot quicker and it leads to some nice stuff. But in this case, um, and they're both going to be seven turns. You know what? Uh, I think... I think I'm going to go for pottery. Uh, just to grow quicker, because we have all these exploitable tiles, and I just want to get to them. Uh, oh, that's probably a mistake. How do I get to that? <laughs> uh, fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it. Okay, choose production. Um... Can't build any 
So we automatically get a monument, so that's already there, I think. Which, as you can see right here, this obelisk here. That's really cool. Like a little adobe buildings. That's really neat. Uh, let's see. Let's build a... Oh, a slinger will only take five turns. So that's that's good. We'll build one of them. Uh, so that's a ranged unit. We'll see how that how that works. Uh, all right, and you can't move. You're done. All right, everyone's done. Okay, so let's move on to the next turn. Uh oh. É uma honra conhecê-lo pessoalmente. Parece que mentes brilhantes se atraem. Oh, is that Brazil? Ah. Pedro, obrigado, Pedro the Seconds. It is a beautiful day. Uh, okay, so this is our first encountered civilization, and it is Pedro the Second of Brazil. Would you like to visit our nearby city and sample our hospitality? Yeah, let's be friendly, uh, please. <laughs> yes, obrigado. And I can't remember what Portuguese is for goodbye, but goodbye. Uh, okay, so there go the, the sneaky barbs. Uh, so after meeting another civilization, you see the need for new ways to communicate. Your knowledge of writing has advanced considerably, so you get a bonus. Uh, these get, I think, you get these Eureka moments, uh, which give you boosts to different texts. So that's that's great. So we're like halfway to writing, like when we get there, that's great. Um, I don't know where this guy is. Oh, here he is. This is. It's a scout. All right, just hands off our rice. That's all I got to say about that. Um, all right, so I'm going to keep moving down towards this this barbarian encampment. I want to root it out. Uh, all right, so pull it out like a fucking tick. Um, are you uh, are you a Portuguese yourself, Pedronian? All right, so uh, let's move on to our next turn. I think that's it, so let's move on. Oh, wait. Aha. Okay, so that... He still had... He had one movement left, and he did that, so let's finish that off. More wheat. Wheat and stone. Wheat and stone. All right, now we're done. All right, get out of here, you Brazilian. Okay, um, I love the music. Uh, all right, so I'm not going to move into these squares yet because I think they'll be able to attack us. And I don't want that happening yet, so let's move down here and do them up next turn. Um, all right, so let's see. Our city-state neighbors ah. have a request of us. If we can impress them, I think they will reward us handsomely. Okay, so city-states, I think, started... They were introduced in the last Civilization game, Civilization V. So they're just these independent cities that aren't connected to the larger civilizations. They can't... They don't conquer lands. They don't found new cities. But they are, they're trading partners. They can do a bunch of other stuff. Um... Robert the Bruce, I'll try, I'll try. I don't know all this, uh, well, I guess there's no Scots uh, faction here, but I'll look for him. Um, uh, tell me more, advisor. Uh, City-states, this is okay, what I said. City-states are smaller political entities. They cannot win a game. They're not competing against you, but they can, against you, but they can greatly assist or impede your progress towards victory. You can befriend city-states and gain a number of important benefits. You can ignore them and concentrate on bigger and more important foes. You can conquer them and take their stuff. It's up to you. And I think if you're the first person to encounter a city-state, you get an envoy in in that city, uh, which I don't really understand what that means. Um, all right, so let's... Wait, can I move another? No, I can't. I'm good. All right, so let's go to the next turn. Let's get out of here, you Portuguese. Right. All right, and let's attack. OK, 
Okay, that's good. And let's finish him off, hopefully. Nope. Almost. Um, all right, so let's continue to send our... Oh, it's copper up here. Lucid, hello. Bold and saucy, hello. Um, all right. So we're not able to wipe them out, but we should be able to do that next turn. So let's move on to the next turn so we can see the carnage. Right, okay. Let's move on the fortifications at dawn. Dead. Dead. Gone. Boom. Nice. Goodbye, barbarians. The soldiers hope your victory over barbarian outposts is the start of a long line of military successes. Progress towards military tradition has been advanced considerably. Awesome. All right, so I, I think hopefully these guys heal over time. Um, but I don't know. Um, all right, so let's... Might as well keep moving this way. Uh, oh. Hello, Brazilians. Hello, Belgian peoples. Um, all right, so that's it. Next turn. Please don't attack me. Oh. Oh, and there's our slinger. Slinga. All right. Um... So what? Uh, they want us to instruct, construct an encampment. Oh wait! Oh, so we did. We are the first to discover them. We do have an envoy there. So they're influenced by us, I think. Uh, so we get. Oh, okay. So we get. So since we have an envoy in the city state, we get a plus two production in our capital when producing wonders, buildings, and districts. Awesome. Uh, so, and they want us to build, I'm not going to go to war with them. Uh, they want us to build an encampment, which I don't know what that is. Um, okay. All right. We'll figure it out as we go, I suppose. And here is our slinger. Uh, I want them... I guess I'll just try to keep all these guys pretty much together. This army here. Uh, send him up this way. And move up. Don't frighten the cows. Sour the milk. Uh, Alright, so let's... Whoa! Is that Poland? Huh? Over the hills and far away? Was that another city state? I don't know. Preslov. Okay. Uh, I don't know. All right. Let's choose new production. It is time to build a settler. Now this will allow us to build a second city. Uh, not the uh, Chicago-based improv troop, but an actual second city. So let's start building a settler. And in 14 turns, we will have a glorious second city. All right, uh, let's move on to our next turn. Yeah, the music is great. I've uh, I've always liked the music in Civilization, but this is really, really nice. All right, so I'm just going to keep moving this way. Uh, ooh, pearls. Ooh, pearls before swine. All right, so let's move these. up here. I think there's a pathway through the, the pass of the mountains. Alright, and next turn. I thought Clay must feel happy in the good potter's hand. What would you know, Janet? Okay, so now we can build a granary. And now we should focus, definitely focus on mining. Um... 
All right, more fish. So here's the coast. That's great. That's great that we found that. Uh, we'll keep them together. Um... Oh man, where should we build the city? Oh, it says more sort of uh, rainforest territory here. Uh, and let's choose new research. And it's definitely going to be mining. And. Uh, as. Yeah, and then we'll build a granary as soon as our settlers finished. Boom. <laughs> Always be on the lookout for Titans. Without craftsmanship, oh. inspiration is a mere reed shaken in the wind. Cool. Okay, so with your people infused to try craftsmanship, government and social policy changes are free this turn. All right, so let's see if we can do a new policy. Um, this... Okay, all right, so this is these are the new policies. Plus 30% production towards builders. So if we want to build... Builders will improve tiles. You need those to improve tiles. So if we want to build mines or build pastures for the cows or anything, we need to build a builder first. And this will uh, build a builder, build, build, building, uh, building a builder. Helps to build a builder. Uh, it was three way, hello. Um, but I think... Uh, since we can't really, um, maybe we should change to a a go gay, a go gay. Uh, so I can build more. Um, yeah, I think. Well, no, I'll just I'll keep it for now since I've got I'm kind of locked into the settlers, so I'm gonna that's the production is gonna be geared towards that for a while anyway. I don't know what it costs to change policies in a normal turn, but... Oh, wow. Oh, I don't know when this gets unlocked, but probably by another tech. Uh, alrighty then. So let's... Well... Oh, there's another prize... hut. 40 gold. Awesome. And there's crabs. Alright. That here. Man, where should I build the city? All right. Aha! Having discovered another continent, we realize there's a wide world of trading opportunities. Your progress towards foreign trade is advanced. Awesome, so this is a new continent. Cool. I wonder what the continent is called. I think there's a way of seeing it, but I don't know. Uh, oh, there's chocolate. Oh, man. Oh man, we're gonna conquer these guys. Uh, all right, so this, oh, it's a city, it is a city state, Preslov. So we've got an envoy there, so we get plus two production in the capital when producing units. Awesome, that's great. Uh, and they want us to, what do they want us to do? What did it say? They want us to construct a holy site. Another one? Because we already have a monument. Um, maybe once we start build our new city, since we get a monument automatically, that'll fulfill that goal. Uh, alright, choose a civic. Uh, foreign trade. Yes, that is... Oh, these are both good. Um, okay, military tradition grants... Okay, plus two great general points per turn. Plus 50% production towards ancient classical area. Heaven like cavalry units. Flank flanking and support combat bonuses to all combat units. We could have used that down with those barbarians down there. Uh, but since we've already seen, we've got two uh, city states and another sieve here. Let's go for the foreign trade. I love money. Money is great. Uh. <laughs> Uh, all right, so got a hundred, got a lot of gold. That's good. All right, let's go. Oh, here's the cat. Hello, Preslov. I can't see much because of all this 
vegetation here. Um, Alright, you can't move much more. Uh-oh. Oh, it's just a scout. We're fine. Um, Alright, let's see. Let's get down to this track here. Uh, Alright, so there is... This marshland is nice. This is a very rich area, too. We got This, this city could be huge. With this marshland... Uh, and the, the fish here and the wheat. This could be very, very big city. A very, very big city. Um, oh, man. All these crabs. I did not want to go there, but that's fine. Uh, Alright, let's go to the next turn. Hmm. Will you receive our diplomatic delegation in your capital? Uh, your delegation is most welcome. Yes, of course, please. It would be nice to have uh, diplomatic relations with the Brazilians. Goodbye. Oh, the cat just jumped on my lap. No, cat, you can't. You can't be on the keyboard. Sorry. Sorry, guys. All right. <clears throat> Let's just... Okay. Oh, more rice. God damn, man. Oh, the wealth is staggering. Alright. Um, let's move to our next turn. Uh, Alright. So, okay, that's good. Uh, the cat's name is uh, Mr. Tumnus. Uh, <laughs> I did not name him. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know why. I'm not really obligated to keep calling him that, but I do. I set a habit. Uh, I'm not a big uh, C.S. Lewis fan, but uh, I knew someone who was. Uh, Alright, so let's move over the hills and far away up here. We're definitely not keeping to our plan of keeping them together, but... Um, oh, this is... God, this is awesome. There's cattle. This is great. Oh, we will be mighty indeed. Okay, we're going to the next turn. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right. All right, you stupid scouts. Uh, I don't know if I can... Okay, so if I move here... I should have defensive bonuses for being on this hill. Yeah, defense modifier 3. Um, unfortunately, they will get that bonus too once they move to attack me. But, you know, whatever. Aha! Um, Alright, I'm just gonna... Stay there. Oh, man, look at these scouts right on our doorstep. That's not good at all. Um, aha, another coastline. Good to know. Oh, a contact with other states has crystallized our ideas on governing our own people. Our progress towards political philosophy has advanced. That's, that's great. Okay, all right, all right. Oh, you might be right, McMillander. All right, let's, uh... Oh, Aramil, hello! Uh... All right, I'm just gonna... Oh, you know what? No, I can't move any further. I am gonna move back here. Presumably... Well, we'll see what happens. Yep. Here comes that scout. Do 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 do. More credit than the wife of a coal miner. Uh, a coal miner's daughter. Hello, Loretta Lynn's gonna be pissed. Oh, Travis. All right, so now we can build mines. Uh, so we should start making builders, so we can start building mines in our built buildings. Uh, shit. 
All right, let's try to take out these scouts here. What? Eesh, man. War is in rough shape. Uh, hey, no, that's our prize city. The villagers share a hidden technical secret. Your knowledge of bronze working has advanced considerably. Good. She did? Oh, man. Well, I guess she probably won't mind. Uh, all right. Man, that scout kicked our butts. I should have left the, uh, the policy. Did I change the policy to increase production? I can't remember. Um, well, at least that scout is gone. Uh, choose new research. Um, all right, archery. Okay, so we could start that. Irrigation is good. Uh, bronze working. We don't have any bronze available. Uh, we'll get a big boost to masonry once we build a quarry. Um, don't have access to sailing yet. Even though, I don't know why she's recommending this. Because we're not even going to be, we don't have access to a coast. We're a landlocked culture. Why are you recommending sailing? What are you, Christopher Cross? Uh, I can't read that. Oh, the wheel. Those are good. Oh, rising. Um, I think I'm going to go for archery because I think we're going to get a bonus. Hopefully our slinger kills this barbarian next turn and we'll get a bonus to that. Um, okay. Next turn. Uh, unit needs orders. Oh, yes. Oh, I can't. Oh, it's another... S Ooh, Kumasi. Atlantica. That's the name of this continent. Oh, that's cool. What's the one we're on? Uh, Novo Pangea. I like that. Belladonna TV. Hello. Uh, do I like Warmonger style? I cannot answer that question. I don't know what it means. Uh, all right, so this this guy is gonna have to stay put because I'm gonna need the extra turn to cross the river next time. So let's just uh, wait. Oh, can I do? Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, skip turn. There we go. Next turn. lives by exchanging yes Adam Smith author of the wealth of nations well let's increase the wealth of our nation by trading with some of these other nations these city-states ah okay so and we get new things here um, maritime industries 100% production towards ancient and classical or naval units can't use that yet um, I think we're going to stay with what we have. Uh, it really should be Pangaea. Uh, if I'm sticking with the whole Latin thing. But, uh... Eh. Alright. Oh, there's another... Eesh. Oh, boy. We may be in trouble here. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Uh... Range attack? Can't do it. Alright, let's move back here. Shit. Oh, this could be trouble. I'm in trouble deep. Papa, don't preach. Alright, let's move our warrior back up to support that guy. Let's cross the river. River crossing. Um, Alright, choose a new civic. Uh, now let's get the military tradition. Yes, we need that. I get the bonus. So it'll be done in six turns. That's great. It's lovely. Uh, 
Um, all right, so they took off. God, I wish I wasn't so beat up. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Wait, what happened? Why did my tiles all change? What the hell? Oh, it's a is it a lens? Huh? I don't know what's happening. Uh All right, so that's the delineation between the continents. Appeal. All right, so that this is like aesthetic appeal. Settler. Oh, okay, this is good places to settle. Governments. Uh, and there's no religions yet, so... Okay. Alright, alright. Um, oh, there's another scout down here. Man, these frickin' barbarians. Oh, oh, it's the settler. That's what it is. Okay, alright, great. So... So this is the potential reach of Rome. So I need to get outside of that. And I'll probably aim towards this... Um, uh, this river valley here, this river region. So let's move up here. Hopefully we don't run into one of those barbarians on the way. Alright, let's move up here. Sorry, excuse me. Pardon me, thank you. <laughs> I would love to do that. Bold. Let's see if I get the option. All right, let's build that granary. Uh, oh, I should. Uh, yeah. Or a builder. A builder might be good. We still, because we can, we can start working on these mines here. So, yeah, let's start with the builder, and hopefully... Oh, shit. I should have another military unit. Uh, all right, let's go to next turn. There's... Oh, that's our friend, the Brazilian. There we go, the barbarians. Oh, boy. Can we do a ranged attack? Not yet. Oh, they have to be right there. How? Oh, what's my... Alright, let's see if I can... Can I not attack them? Oh, here we go. The Battle of the Marshes! Die! Die, Scout! Die! All right, I'm definitely not building a settlement right here. That's dumb. Um, got to move a little further down down river there. Uh, let's move up here. Ooh, salt. Hmm. <laughs> Anybody ever see the movie Top Secret with Val Kilmer? Uh, that's one of my. This reminds me of a really funny line. <laughs> like they kidnap the Nazis or the East Germans kidnap the scientists. Uh, he's building this machine for them. It's a desalinization machine. It says it can remove the salt from up to 50,000 gallons of seawater a minute. Do you realize what that means? Valkyrie was like, yeah, you'd have enough salt to last forever. Oh, I thought that was funny. Uh, all right, can we do a ranged attack now? Oh, we just moved, so no. This was a mistake, quite likely. Um... Hey, Brazil, do you want to chip in? Oh, no, I guess you can't. All right. Let's go to the next turn. It's good, right? You know, uh, the movie that I saw, not really recently, but most recently, that reminded me of it. Oh, no. Oh, no, you stupid scout. Yeah. Is your dog still alive? Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. 
All right. Well, crud. Skate surfing. <laughs> yeah. Um. Can I encamp? Oh, a promotion available. Uh, let's do battle cry plus seven combat strength. Yes. Oh, that's great, and that heals us up too. Can I get a promotion here? No. Um, Alright, this is going to be the battle for everything. Right, do you get a promotion? No. Move to fortify, fortify. Ah, yes. Okay, well. Uh, let's keep moving you up. Uh, have you got a change of socks? Alright, so the settler... I think... I think I'm going to settle here. No, here. Let's look back. Yeah, we'll settle right here. Um, so if you settle here, it'd be one, two, three. Yeah, that's perfect. So we'll just settle right there. Hopefully we're not waylaid. All right, into the desert. Ah, Toronto, the exotic, fabulous international city of Toronto. Um, all right. So do we get, what do they want? They want a trade route. Yeah, we're working on it, mate. We're working on it, you bloody idiots. Bloody Canadians. Uh, I wonder if it's offensive to Canadians that they're not, they don't get a whole culture. They just get these city-states. Uh, let me know, Canadians in the chat. Uh, are you in Toronto, Bold and Saucy? Um, right, I guess we're done there. Oh, wait, can we fortify? No, we can't do anything. Oh, he's just moved. Oh, I should have... Ah, oh, shit. Oh, wow. There's a lot of Brazilians in my country area. Well, this is scaring off the barbs. Ugh. Uh, all right. So let's do a ranged attack against these fellows. Yeah, it's a classic David versus Goliath situation. Um... And these guys are pretty strong. They've leveled up, too, so... Uh, they sh might be able to at least knock these guys down a peg, so let's do that. Yeah! Yeah! Up yours, barbarian scum! Nice. Awesome. Okay. So let's keep moving up. I, I am loving this music. Um, right. More crabs. Uh, that's true. But then there's America. America's a culture. That's even crazier. Uh, all right, and that's moving on to do its own thing. Got to take out these scouts, and we've got to discourage these Brazilians from stealing our bananas and sugar. All right. Oh, hello, Abba. Did I say hello? So let's do another ranged attack on this stupid scout. Good. And we are will we will hunt them to the ends of the earth. Um, assuming we can find them. All right. Oh, I should probably do a save or something, right? What does that do? Quick save. Oh no, it shows the. Ooh, furs! That's fitting for Toronto. Uh, Alright, let's go to our next turn. Bravery is being the only one who knows you're afraid. Ooh, I like that quote. Can we change policies? Uh, cavalry units. Strategos, great person, plus two great general points per turn. 
Uh, Great Generals is something that also was, I think, introduced either in 5 or 4. Um, that, uh, or Great People can be produced if you build up enough of these Great Person points, and they're, they give you big bonuses. So let's see if we can... Is there anything we can change to... Uh, Caravanseries. Plus two gold from all trade routes. We, we don't... That's a great, great one to have when we get to that point. Uh, aha! Oh. Uh, I don't know where we can put that. Um, still don't... Can't make a sophisticated form of government. Uh, alright. I'm just gonna stick with what we, uh, what we got. Um... All right, well, uh, ah, they're just scouts. They're, eesh. well, all right, let's, let's found this new city. City of Antium. Great. This is great. We got, we got the marsh here. We got the jade. More stone. We should be able to eventually get to this wheat here. This wheat here. More stone. Uh, this is, this is excellent. All right, I am... I'm going to try to take out this this area here, this uh, encampment. All right, move one. Uh, keep exploring up the coast. All right, uh, and choose a new civic, early empire, mysticism. Uh, I haven't gotten to that yet, but we should. We'll do early empire. Uh, open borders, colonization, and land surveyors. Um, state workforce. Uh, let's do early empire. And we should get up to six very soon, I think. Uh, oh, this damned barbarians. Barbarian scum! Okay, and choose new production. Oh, for the new city. Let's build a... All right, we have very little production so far. Uh, but let's build a... Do-do-do. Uh... It's going to take a while to build anything. Uh, but let's... Uh, let's do a builder. Make a builder. Uh, okay. Uh, well, where are you? What are you talking about? Uh, apologies. I will seek. I will look elsewhere in the future. I guess. Obrigado. You're welcome. Goodbye. Leave us alone forever, please. Where is... Where is Brazil? Um... Boom! Okay, that didn't actually cost anything. So, let's move here. Let's try to take out these scouts. Uh... Alright, we got Bob the Builder. Um. All right, let's improve this area here. Did he take my bananas? That f mother, f goddamn! All right, let's build a quarry. Yes, quarrying a resource has given us the raw materials we need to employ masons. Our knowledge of masonry has advanced considerably. Good. Do, 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 do. Uh, why don't you... F oh, let's... Well, I think hopefully we'll heal better from closer to the city. Um, <laughs> Alright, choose a production. Um, let's build that granary. Something we need to finally get. He 
seriously, where is Brazil? I need to I need to explore up this way. I've yet to do that. All right, next turn. Somebody building a road? Whoa. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Guy. Uh, bum, bum, bum. All right, let's hopefully heal a little quicker. Uh, right. All right, so we built a quarry. That was very quick. Oh no, there's more warriors. Uh oh. I hate barbarians. I hate them. Uh, can I? Yeah, I'll build a pasture there. Nice. Horseback riding knowledge has been boosted. That's good. Alright, keep moving up. Oh, nice little river delta here. Very, very nice. Alright, I think we may be in a little trouble. <laughs> Yanni Ahum, yes. <laughs> I can see! Uh, the growing number of citizens, your lands, dream of having an empire. Okay, so early empire has been advanced considerably. Um, you know what? Stay away from my from my city, jerk. These barbarians are the worst. Yeah, you want to come at me? Come at me, bro. You and your Fucking German Shepherd, or whatever the fuck it is. Uh, fundamentally doomed. Hello, Insomnia 176. Hello. Um. All right, can we? Yeah, this folks are fine. Uh. All right, so we built a thing there. Let's. Man, this guy's closing in on us. Uh. All right, we'll build another thing there. Move this scout along. All right, we're we're gradually. Oh, is this the whole... This is the whole map. Okay. It really isn't that big. All right. Well, I will probably... So this this game probably won't last that long. This is really a lot smaller. I want to do my second game. I'll probably end up doing a second game before I move on to anything else. I'm thinking ahead. And I'll move to a much bigger map. And perhaps I'll do another civilization as well for some variety. So... Uh... What? 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 Um. All right. Next turn. Brasileiros. Oh shit! Get away from here, you scout! I shot an arrow into nice. the air. It fell to earth. earth. I, I knew not, not where. where Henry Wordsworth Longfellow. Great. Can I upgrade my existing uh, slinger to that? To an archer? I wonder. Man, this guy's a real pain in the butt. Um... <laughs> oh, let's do some research. Uh, okay, astrology. Oh, we can build Stonehenge. That would be nice. Uh, chopping of reinforce reveals iron. That's cool. Horseback riding. That's really good. Uh, we've got this. Oh, wow. Oh, I don't know what to do. Oh, writing. Uh, let's just do writing. It's four turns. It'll be over soon. Fuck, man. The mother city is in trouble. I 
really I don't know what I'm doing here. Um Alright, I'm gonna close in on this guy. Yeesh. Oy oy vey. Uh can we rush production with our gold? Um so we've got the granary here. Uh purchase tile managed citizens. Purchase an item with gold. Let's see if we can do that. Oh hell yeah, bro. Let us buy a Ooh, an archer. Fuck yeah, man. Yeah, dude! Alright! Cool. I knew that money would come in handy. That's great. Okay, so now now what you gonna do? Bad boys. Um <laughs> the I know, right? They're like they're like these vandals just attacking all my stuff. Uh Alright. Let's go to the next ten. What are you doing, Brazilians? All right, it killed the scouts. Like air awesome. conditioning that brought down the Roman Empire. With air conditioning, their windows were shut. They couldn't hear the barbarians coming. <laughs> I don't think that's necessarily true. Um, right. Okay, colonization. Fifty percent production towards settlers. Man. I'm just gonna stick with what I got still. Plus one production. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna stick with what I got. It's, it's Garrison Keeler. He's, he's joking. Um, all right, so let's do a ranged attack on these bastards. Yeah. How do you enjoy your first encounter with an archer? J you jag. All right, we'll build a. Pasture up here. Nice. Very nice indeed. Um, Alright, let's choose a civic. Uh, mysticism. Uh, oh, that'll let us build a wonder. I really want to do that. So let's, let's do that. Um, Alright, so those guys ran off so I'm gonna just uh, fortify till healed with these guys the two just won't let them let them heal up and then I'll we'll get start heading up north again uh, okay all right Yeah, man, we're gonna take these guys out. The glorious new archers. And then we're gonna rebuild our mines that they're trotting on. All right, next turn. Oh, they just killed that traitor, dude. Oh, I can reach them, awesome. That is a really long range. <laughs> yeah, suck it. All right, so let's... Oh, hello. Why do I come for the immortal son of heaven, the great Jin Shi Huang? Uh, it is an honor to meet you. And we'd love to sample your hospitality. Uh, I'll have a number 13, uh, but instead of the dumplings, can I get a, a spring roll? All right, uh, so let's move on here. Oh, they have archers too. Perhaps we weren't the first to discover that mighty weapon. Um, all right, they're still healing up. Oh, that'll be done next turn. He is done. Uh, all right, so let's... Stop moving him up. Um, uh, 
Uh, all right, next turn. Oh, you're going to come back at me? All right, you are going to die. You're going to die right here on this on these cows. All right, gentlemen. Don't hit the cows. Yeah! Nothing can best a Roman archer. Uh, okay, this guy's healed. That's awesome. I really need some more military units. Um, just to, because we're kind of moving everyone up here. Uh, we need someone to protect the heartlands, but... Ah, Xian. Okay. Oh, I like your... I like your town, buddy. Alright, let's choose production for Rome. Let's definitely build a trader. You trader! Um, uh, next turn. We have recently gained advanced knowledge in city planning. Creating districts in our cities can be much more powerful and lucrative than simple improvements like farms and mines. Oh, like you know so much and I don't? I don't. Tell me more. Uh, in Civilization VI, buildings are no longer trapped in your city center, but may sprawl across your territory as part of districts. The map is more important than ever as you are faced with important strategic placement decisions. The campus and holy site each receive special boosts from placement near mountain tiles. Okay. But the campus also benefits from a nearby rainforest tile. The city must expand its population before it construct, can construct multiple districts. One population for one district, four population for two districts, seven population for three districts. Each of this little district requires three population, plus three population. The aqueduct, neighborhoods, and spaceports ignore this for what? When a city is ready to construct something, the Choose Production button will appear. If the district can be constructed, it will appear on this menu. Click on the district in, in, to order the city to begin construction, opening the district placement lens. Here you will be given an overview of the different yield outcomes available on the tiles surrounding your city center, and you can better make a decision about where to place your district. This lens will also show you which tiles are unavailable, as some districts have very specific placement requirements. For example, that the encampment cannot be built adjacent to a city center. Furthermore, all districts must be built within three tiles of a city center. Districts may be placed on top of features such as wood or rainforest if you have the technology to remove those features, but for longer construction time, no district can be built on a floodplain. Great. Uh, great. All right. Um, I Writing think I is kind easy. of get it. Right, all you have easy. to do is cross out the wrong words. Oh, Mark Twain. <laughs> I really, I loved, um, what's it called? Uh, Huck Finn. All right. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to try. I think, I guess the Brazilians must be up here somewhere. So let's, let's put the fear of, of Jove into them. Uh, all right, these, can these archers level up or anything? No. Uh, let's. Oh, let's use a new research first. Currency. Uh, wait. So wait, can we not do a trade route if we don't have... Ugh. Uh, irrigation. Oh, man. Masonry. <laughs> Pyramids, ancient walls. It's a free builder. Six. I just. I want to go for something that's pretty cheap. Spearman. Um. Oh, she wants me to do irrigation. Yeah. All right. I'll do irrigation. Seems important. <laughs> that's a good idea, Bold and Saucy. I'd. I'd try that. Uh. All right. I think we're. Who? Wait. Who needs it? Is, Oh, um, yeah, just go ahead and fortify. Oh, wait, did our builder die? Did our builder get killed? 
Aha! We've reached the upper... Upper coast of this mighty continent. Uh, oh, who needs orders? Oh, you do. Oh, you. All right, move over here, and let's move on to a next turn. Oh, he's building a builder. <laughs> uh, Elytrion, hello. All right, I really should... The slinger really shouldn't be in the front, but whatever. It's going to take a while. And this is really the job of a scout, uh, additionally, so... Well... I can't move. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, all right, next turn. Uh, hold on one second. I have to reply to a text. Sorry for this. Okay. And done. Uh, all right, we will cross the Rubicon here, and thing. All right, just keep moving. Five, five population. All right, so let's. There's the the goddamn Brazilians. Um, all right, you can't. I guess he's kind of stuck there. All right. Uh. All right, Antium's moving apace, growing, growing apace. Uh, he'll be a traitor in one turn. That's good. All right, who needs who needs orders? Uh, we'll skip you and go into a next turn. What? Are you mad? Why are you mad? Why are you mad, bro? Oh, Tabaki! Oh, whoa. Why unfriendly, man? Must be cool. Uh, oh, warmonger. Okay, I'm sorry, whoever was that said that. Now I get it. No, I don't. I don't want. I'm not a warmonger usually. Um. Yeah, let's let's be friendly. Oh, you're not cool with that. All right. Goodbye. Um, I don't want to denounce you, bro, but so I won't. Um, all right. So, all right, we're up to five population. So I want to see if I can manage the uh, citizenry here. Is someone producing any faith? Managed citizens. There it is. Okay, so here's the the screen. This shows like so we have a five population. This shows which tiles they're actually working. Um, okay, I don't know where our um, builder went. I don't know what happened to him, but this is wrecked. So we're not getting as much production as, or are we? Looks like we are. It's on fire, but it's. Oh, but there's no... Okay, yeah, so this wrecked the improvement here. Um, so we're getting three... So, but this horse is... They're working this horse tile. And that's getting producing three food, two uh, production, and we've got the horses, which we can't really use yet. Uh, the cattle are being worked. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, all right. So we really need to... I want to grow the population and starts on this jade. I need a new builder is what I need. Uh, so let's oh, shoot. Oh, okay, we can build a new. Oh, and here comes some damn archers. Ugh. Ugh, phrasing. Um, well, all right, you know what? Do need another builder, but I don't want these archers to just kill it. So I'm gonna make an executive decision. So you want me to build a campus, but where? 
Are we, do we have any, anywhere that's good for a campus? Um, I gotta build another warrior. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I hate bananas, Photon Chief. I, I think they're disgusting. But other people like them, so they're a valuable resource. And that's how economy works. Um, all right, he's got to stay there. Uh, oh, trade route. All right, hopefully you can... All right, so we'll set up a trade route between... Our two, our two cities. We are by uh -oh. the grace of God, Victoria, Queen of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland, and soon, dare I say, the Empire. Oh, hello. Well, I'd ask you to marry me, but I'm not German. Okay. Well, it is an honor to meet you, and uh, yeah, it's an honor to meet you. Exchanging information in our capitals is a great idea. Yeah, let's be friends. We used to be friends a long time ago. But I thought of you lately at all. Um, I, I'd like to be friends with her. All right, so is the trader going? Do we have a trade route set up here? I think, I guess we do. I don't know how to look. <laughs> Um. Wait, sorry. What is this? What does this mean? All right. So we have trade routes to Antium and Brussels. Uh, you know, I'd love to. I would love to start a trade route with them, but. Uh, let's be a little more well get more gold but then we get more food I'll just and then we'd also run right past this archer so I'm gonna go ahead and do it to, uh, and begin with in addition to bringing riches to our civilization awesome. this trade route will gradually develop roads between our cities roads allow our units to no longer be impaired by the difficult terrain through which they pass Tell me more, tell me more. Why can we use a car? Uh, roads are an important part of moving around the world. Placed by traitor unit, traitor units beginning in the ancient era, roads begin by reducing the movement cost of a tile to one. We move it to one road tile to another. Technology progresses, we unlock the ability. Yeah, this is roads, yeah. Not roads, how they work. It's pretty much how they work in real life. Uh, your trade route directly exchanges goods, but a medium of exchange, and like, okay, we get a boost towards currency. Awesome. Uh, great. And we got five turns till irrigation. Two till mysticism. That's good. Um, and we'll have a warrior soon. Who needs orders? Well, you can't do anything, so we're going to skip you. Qin Shi Huang is also unfriendly towards us. Victoria, you've always been cool. I, I like you. Uh oh. What was that? Whoa. What? Huh? What? Oh no, horseman! Oh, that's no good. Uh, I really shouldn't even do that. You know what? I'm gonna send this guy back to deal with these barbarian hordes. Um. Coast here. Uh, uh, who needs orders? Oh, yikes. Oh, there's England. Oh, there's silver up here. Oh, nice. Nice to know. Alright. Next turn. I like to say I practice militant mysticism. I'm absolutely sure of some things that I don't quite know. <laughs> uh, all right, so we can build an oracle. All right, and we can My change. My liege, we have an envoy at our disposal. 
We can use the envoy to gain favor with the city-state. Becoming friendly with a city-state neighbor can be greatly beneficial to our civilization. All right, tell me more. Uh, the bonuses you earn from a city-state depend on how many envoys. So we only have we only have seen two city-states, and since we discovered them first, we automatically got envoys in them. So there's no, you know, I think I don't think we can do anything with the one that we have. Envoys are earned over time with influence points, which come from governments and policies, or instantly by completing certain civics. Once earned, you may you will receive a prompt to choose which city-states to send them to. If you have multiple envoys, you may divide them between city-states as you desire. Declaring war directly on a city-state removes all envoys you had there. Otherwise, envoys stay in the city-state permanently. Envoys in a city-state are visible to all players and places that may have diplomat diplomatic consequences. The bonuses earned are based on how many envoys you have present, regardless of who else has envoys there. City-states of a type all share the same type of bonuses. They are cumulative, so that a player places more and more envoys on a city-state, they stack with the bonuses from before. Aha! Each envoy placed in a city-state expands its borders by one tile. Okay, so I can place that envoy somewhere where we already have one. Uh, are these diplomatic policies, then? These purple ones? Must be. Um, Alright, is there anything... Uh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, you know what? Since I'm building a builder, uh, we'll be building builders. Let's change that card so we get plus 30% production towards builders. Cool. Uh, yes, our policy agenda is set. So says Trajan. Um. Alright. They're wildcard policies? Thank you, Between Rivers. Diplomatica Green. All right, so let's keep sending this warrior back. Oh man, these horse horses are making me nervous. Man, my banana isn't that great because it seems like everyone has bananas. Several closely situated granite peaks resembling tiger's Ooh. teeth dramatically soar about a kilometer into the sky. Torres del Pain. Okay. Oh, so that's uh, like a naturally occurring. Uh, I can't read that, so there's something covering my thing. Natural wonder discovered. Okay, cool. <laughs> Build a wall. Uh, natural wonder. Oh, we discovered it. Okay, it's to people. Your knowledge of astrology has advanced considerably. Great. Uh, all right, let's choose a new civic. Drama and poetry. State workforce. Uh, oh, that's pretty good. Unit maintenance reduced by one gold per turn per unit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take that for sure. And let's send an envoy. Um, oh, we don't. Oh, okay. We could. We don't have. Um, well, it's got to be Toronto, right? Uh, okay. Uh, oh, here we go. Alright, we'll send... Bonuses earned. Uh, two production. Oh, for... Alright, yeah, here we go. Toronto. Here we go. Boom. Done. Jeshball, hello! Uh, and let's go to our next turn. Tenho que fazer isso em benefício. No, 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 you don't. No, you don't. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Oh my God! All right, yeah, goodbye forever. Oh, I'm so sick of you already. As our protests are in vain. Wait, what? We hereby declare war. Oh, oh, okay. What the fuck? Why? Oh no. <laughs> this will not last long. Uh, God damn. Okay. Shit. That's not cool, man. Well, you know, I don't know. Say goodbye to your builder, I guess. Oh, God, I'm so screwed. I have no military.
Um, got barbarians advancing on. You know, this was. Oh, God, I should have started on an easier, easier setting. Um, damn. Okay. Uh, let's see, warrior. All right, well, let's... No, we can't do that either. Uh, how do I get to my... How do I get to my archer? Uh, purchase tile, mana citizens. I do have a good bit of gold. Um... Yeah, seriously. Oh, here we go. All right. There we are. Um, no ranged attack. Why? What? The hell? Why can't I attack? Why can't I? What's happening? Is it because I'm fortified? Why can't I attack? Oh, no, no, no! That's not what I wanted. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that isn't what I really wanted to do either. Um, no, no, just stay there. Oh, damn, man. All right, let's choose the production. Well, I guess we got to go. Damn, dude. Um... Trader, scout, warrior. Yeah, I guess we gotta build a warrior, man. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. I was not prepared for this at all. That's so different from previous versions. Oh, and here they come. God damn, man. Stop. Stop. They've got horsemen already? I don't have horsemen. No! Is he dead? No, he's not dead. The man who has grit enough to bring about the afforestation or the irrigation of a country is not less worthy of honor than its conqueror. Okay. Uh, so why can I not do a ranged attack here? Oh, I did. All right. All right. Now let's come on. Take out these archers. Come on. All right. Uh, can I pay off the barbarians to attack them? I know you can in Sins of a Solar Empire. <laughs> I don't know about this. Uh, all right. Man. All right. I guess... I don't know. <laughs> I'm so bummed now. <laughs> I, I didn't want to go to war with everyone, like, right away. I definitely didn't want to do that. That really... That stinks. Well, I guess we'll go with masonry. Uh, all right, so let's go to our next turn. Watch everyone die. Oh, this guy's, oh, I forgot he's moving. Oh no, oh, he's so screwed. Oh no. Well, China's already unfriendly to me, so I don't, and I don't know what I did. I don't know what I did to antagonize them. I, was it moving my scout through their territory? Like, I, I don't know. And I guess Brazil was mad that I built Antium here, but it's like on the whole other side of the mountains from, from where they are. I'm not really, like, touching their territory. Man. Um... All right, who needs orders? 
There's London. You're at war with me already. Also, that's great. Okay. And China's already advanced. Man. Uh oh. Alright, well, they can get promoted, so. Oh, hello. Oh no. No. No, stop. Oh man, he killed him. No, he killed my dudes. Oh, this. Oh, I hate this. Uh, alright. No, I guess we'll go battle cry. That'll heal us up a bit. Oh, but they've got the high ground here. What are these guys? Oh, okay. They're just regular warriors. Alright, and they can't they can't move because they got the promotion. That's great. Well, maybe if we take their city, they'll chill out. Um alright. Ranged attack. Here you go. Suck hot arrow. Right, they can get promoted. Uh, Alright, more barbarians. More coastline. I do not care for this. Uh, man. I just want a nice, peaceful, like, build up to all the carnage, but. Uh, you can't always get what you want. Was this because of the spring roll remark? Okay. Thank you. Please stop bothering me. Oh my god! Look at this! I have no choice! I have no chance here! <laughs> I have no chance! Look at this! I'm so fucked. Oh, man. Can I move? No? Oh, it's not my turn. This is the this is the regular standard difficulty. It was which was probably a mistake never having played it before. Uh but here, let's see what happens. Um Well, we are dead. We are dead, dead, dead. All right. Uh, all right, let's move up here. They can attack us, but what can you do? Um, all right, we'll do a ranged attack on there. Those archers are badass. All right, keep moving, keep moving that scout. Hadrian had a wall, but he's my successor. It's only gonna be after I die. Um, all right. <laughs> oh man, the fall of Rome happens. It's gonna happen a lot earlier than it did in history. There you go. And they're dead. Great, great stuff. And on come the horses. Well, let's just see what, explore how much of the. All right, uh, let's do a ranged attack on. These guys, and the, that did. Oh, you can get promoted. That's cool, but not now. Uh, all right, move on their positions. If I could at least take Rio de Janeiro, I'd feel I accomplished something. Uh, all right, choose production. Uh, gotta do another uh, warrior. Oh, we have a warrior. Oh, that's right, he got built already. All right, so let's. Attack. Attack him. Why can't he... Oh. Nice. 
Good job, guys. Uh, okay. Uh, who else needs orders? Archer. Oh, you can do another ranged attack. Yeah, death to all horses except for ours, which you're standing on. Alrighty then. Next turn. Oh, okay. So the Chinese are cool with us. That's good. That historical friendship between China and ancient Rome. We'd be happy to let the world know we stand united as friends. Now, could you please attack everyone who's attacking us? Yeah, all right. Yeah, goodbye. And we will not last long, I'm sure, because of all these Brazilians. I just hope they got hurt, at least. All right, let's do another... Uh, I want to do the promotion, but it would use up a turn, and I just got to keep... Uh, Alright, do range attack. Did very little. Uh, oh, finally, the builder. Alright, well. Let's build a quarry for all the good it'll do. Um. Can you stack units in this one? I guess probably not. Can you stack them in cities, I guess? Maybe that's what you can do. Because you couldn't in the last one. Um, Alright, move across the river there. Oh boy. Alright, do a range attack on these barbs. Nice. Okay, new production. Uh, Antium. Uh, <laughs> everything's going to take so long. Alright, we'll do a warrior. Uh, next turn. Oh, what? They discovered religion before us. Man, that ain't right. Yeah! And the horse su survived. Your Grace, we have obtained greater knowledge in the art of building static fortifications. Building walls around our cities will not only make them stronger against a foreign invader, but will also allow them to bombard nearby enemies. Okay. Fixed fortifications are monuments to the folly of man. As or George cutting Japan a piece of said. stained glass in the construction of something much bigger than ourselves. Adrian Clarkson. All right. Uh, that is good to know. All right. Let's. Uh, oh, they got. And they're just gonna kill me. All right. Um. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful quarry. Uh, yeah, if I move there to build a farm, they're just going to kill it. See, look, look at these guys. They're standing in my wheat fields, for heaven's sake. Ugh, all right. All right. Let's, uh, you know what? Just going to fortify here. Sheesh. Okay. There. Uh, where my cows go? Man, these barbarians, they messed up all my stuff. All right, we're going to heal. Um, keep them there. Yeah, fortifications would have been useful earlier. Um... Let's go. Uh, let's 
Astrology's really cheap. Let's do that now. Uh, Alright, who needs orders? Oh, the dude. Ah, promotion available. Okay. Volley. Plus five range strength as land units. Garrison. Yeah, we'll do garrison ability. Because he's probably going to stay there. That's great. Okay, next turn. And here they come. Okay. Okay. Can I move into the city? Oh, I... Shoot. Gosh darn it. Uh, damn. Well, some things you learn the hard way. And, oh, can I move? Um... Oh, oh, damn it. Okay. Uh, so let's... Can I build anything here? I can remove the marsh. Yeah, not really. Ah, dude. All right, well, let's go ahead and get our promotion here. Uh, let's take the volley ability. And these guys are resting. Uh, it's being worked by a citizen. Um, you know what? Yeah, I'll just remove the marsh. That's cool. We got a big food bonus. We don't get the three ongoing, but uh, it gives us a big one-time bonus. Uh, who needs orders? Oh, this scout up here. All right, we'll just skip you. Yeah, next time I play, I'm doing it at a earlier, uh, easier level. I don't know what I'm doing. The scout just messed up my whole dudes. Frickin' scout, man. Okay. Oh, I'm so screwed. Alright. Um, oh, well, you could take this guy out. But then you'd be wiped out by these archers here. Well, you can take him out, though. Nope. Across the river. Yes. Excellent. I don't know, man. Kind of holding our own down here in our own territory. Can't make any headway up in Rio, but... I'll tell you what. If we lose this game, I'm going to blame it on Rio. Uh, all right, why don't you... I should move back. Oh, that's right. We got the new... The new warriors. And you'll fortify. Uh, attack. Can upgrade to archer in friendly territory. Uh... Yeah, Endless Legends. Uh, I don't know Sorcerer King, but Endless Legend is definitely a fantasy setting type. Same thing, but fantasy setting. I know there are other games, too. Can't think of them. Uh, Might and Magic. I love the old Might and Magic games. I was a big fan of those. All right, I'm going to try to get this this guy out of there. Um, all right, I'm going to build a build a lovely farm right there. Man, we haven't even gotten to play with our jade yet. Um. All right. You will fortify until healed. All right. Uh oh. Oh, he's gonna get wiped out by 
blasted English. All right, choose production in Chrome. See, I'd love to be able to just build a settler and have a new city, but I will not be able to do that for some time. Uh, let's build walls. Make Rome great again. Um, all right, that's it. Our tra de trade delegation should be arriving soon with gifts of the finest spices, tea, and silk in the Middle Kingdom. Please enjoy. Cool. How about some warriors to kill all these guys that are threatening our very existence? Would that be all right, or? Man, they're... Oh, oh dear. Oh no. Oh boy, <laughs> oh. Oh, the... No, my scout! No, leave the dog alone! I don't believe in astrology. I'm a Sagittarius, and we're skeptical. <laughs> Arthur C. Clarke. Uh, okay. A strong economy begins with a strong, well-educated workforce. It's true. All right, so... Uh, is there anything... All right, I'm definitely going to switch this out, because the barbarians seem to have gone. Um... I'm going to change it to the Agoge. Huh? Okay. And I should probably change this to... I'm not building a lot of builders at the moment. Um, so reduces the cost of purchasing a tile. 15% production. Uh... I think I'll just go back to urban planning and confirm that. Yeah. All right, we are getting the F out of Dodge. All right, we'll switch out here. And yeah, you can maybe take those guys out. Or absolutely not. They can get promoted. Oh no, there's a freaking Brazilian blocking my way. Oh, oh, drat. How'd they get over there? Oh, those cheaters. Those dang cheaters. Derek Cheater. Um, all right, well, let's see if we can do a number on these guys. Sort of, not really. Uh, oh, you do a ranged attack. Sit over there. Nice. Nice. Okay. Uh, I really want to check the rest of this out, but they're just going to kill me. So we'll just gaze at the crabs. Uh, research. Yeah, I'll take bronze working. Uh, and a new civic. Uh, political philosophy. That looks good. All right, next turn. Yeah, I'm not. They're very, they're cartoony, which I don't. The graphics are a little cartoony, which I don't love but they've kind of been moving that way um man these guys these guys are doomed they are fundamentally doomed and we're just gonna fortify see if we can hurt them as much as we can um I am the warrior who is that Yeah, all right, there's, okay, so you'll die. Can I do anything here? Oh, I can do a ranged attack. Yeah. Here's your David and Goliath story. 
Archer. Oh, the archer. Yes. Okay. I wonder if we could take these guys out. Yeah, all right. Our city will not fall, nor our people fail. Ugh. Ugh. Ave Maria. Well, I can buy another unit, though, so... Um, I should do that now. Purchase tile. Purchase an item. Oh, because there's already a guy there, so I can't. Crud. I could buy one here. But he's too far away to do much good at the moment. They're already producing one. Uh, oh, good night. Good night, Unclear Gamer. I will see you later. Um, eesh, man. All right, next turn. Who needs orders? You can't do nothing. China founded Taoism. And our first, first slinger is dead. And there goes the warrior. Ugh. Oh God, this is terrible, terrifying, horrible. Okay, all right. Okay, if I can move the archers. Uh. Fortify. Move them out of the city. Uh, and we'll purchase. Uh, another archer. Awesome. Okay. We'll can't attack, so we'll fortify for the moment. Oh man! Well, there's a hill we can die on. Let's just. Oh, we can get a promotion. Okay. Doesn't matter. Okay, next turn. Oh, dude. Not cool. Oh, we can take those guys out, right? All right. Uh, we'll lose our defensive bonus. It's probably a mistake. There's our warrior. All right, let's. Hmm. Uh. I think I just want to have them fortify there. Oh, let's use let's build walls first of all. All right, that'll be good. Um, I almost want to have them fortify, but then if I do, I won't be able to buy another one. And if somebody does come, oh no, I only have seventy gold left. But um, bum 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 bum. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna move them around. Because these guys may... Ugh. Fuck. Oh, this is tough. Uh, this is... I don't know how actual emperors do this. Um, Alright, I'm just going to fortify. Alright, here we go. This... This is... This is going to be... This is going to hurt them a lot, I think. Right, let's take these guys down. Uh, 
Fortify. Oh no! That's our original warrior unit! Oh, finally! Finally, you've come to your fucking senses. Their offer... Wait. So they want 116 gold? Wait, I don't get this. Oh, okay. So there we make peace and then and they'll give us 116 gold. Okay. Um You know what? No. No, I'm not. I'm going to take out their units first. Um Yeah, you just you just showed your hand, Pedro. Uh, I'm going to take out your units in my territory before I do that. So sorry. That is unfortunate. That's right. So I don't even know. You, fuck you. All right. Yeah, see, this is, this is the revenge. Uh, let's see. Cross the river. we can take these guys out maybe and they have to attack across a river so we'll leave them alone for now yeah okay and these guys attack these guys here yes fuck yeah and now we will march on your fortifications at dawn if I the hell oh they can't move oh uh all right next turn oh hey my scout survived only to be killed by barbarians okay Oh, good night. Good night, Gilds. I'm did. also Sorry. interested in creating a lasting legacy. Because bronze will last for thousands of years. Uh, okay. So we get bronze working, so we can build a barracks. Plus 25% combat experience for all men. That's good. Uh, we can build an encampment, which is what one of the city states wanted us to do. Uh, plus one great general point yields plus one culture, plus one production. Uh, spearmen. We can make spearmen now. We can discover iron and we can chop down rainforest. Okay. Why don't you come around the south end here? This inland sea, or whatever this is. Okie dokie. Oh, they all just ran away. Hell yeah, you better run. You better run, Egg. Uh, oh, so... Uh, wait a minute. So does a builder just build one thing and then disappear? Or are, do my builders keep getting killed? Or do they build two things? Because I think my builder built... My builder built... Blah, 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 blah. The builder built this quarry and then he built the farm. And now he's gone. So, I would like to... Oh, congratulations, Rosie Posey. That is awesome. I'm jealous. Wait, no, I'm not jealous. I don't have anything to do tomorrow either. Uh, although I am going to... Uh, going up to Massachusetts tomorrow. keep forgetting, so I do have to actually call this fairly soon. Um, wow. Yeah, we actually... <laughs> we beat them off. Um, all right, let's choose some research. And, you know, the English are too far away to even get at us. 
Let me talk to uh, Jin Shi Shuang. Oh, this is cool. Um, gossip items. We have no new items. Access level. We've declared friendship. Oh, let's make a deal. My offer. I am not giving you a city. I'm not giving you my horses. Uh, so we can't do an alliance, right? Uh, oh, and they're friends with England, so I guess they wouldn't attack her anyway. All right. Uh, some delegation. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to talk to myself. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, uh, cleaning your apartment. Uh, that's something I should probably do, too. But congratulations on that. Um, phew. All right, well. All right, let's talk to... Uh, now that he's running away, let's talk to Pedro again. Yeah, I'll accept that. Now, have you learned your lesson? Are you going to leave me alone now? Have you been shamed enough? Has enough blood been spilt? Brazilian blood been spilt in our Roman fields? You want to be friends? No? 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 Are your feelings hurt? Okay. Fuck, fuck you. Um, all right, so we're still at war with England, but they're very far away. Uh, I guess our scout is in trouble, <laughs> but, uh, otherwise. All right, uh, technology. Let's, yeah, horseback riding is good. <laughs> I should have, yeah, I demand his beard. Um... All right, who needs orders? Archer. You know what? Uh, I'm not going to have him garrison there because this guy has the actual garrison bonus. So I'm going to have him fortify. I got to say, man, I'm proud of my warriors. Uh, they, they did great in the face of of horrible, horrible odds. They kind of won. Kind of won. All right, next turn. Uh, I'm going to go for another half hour, and then I got to go to bed. Yeah, man. Well, once, especially once we get these walls built, that'll help too. Ah, completing walls around our city demonstrate the principles of engineering needed for aqueducts and catapults. Knowledge of engineering has advanced considerably. Awesome. Uh, okay. Oh, choose production. In Rome. Oh, okay. Districts. Okay. Uh, you know what? Actually, I really want to build. I want to make a new builder here because we're gonna fix these, all this stuff that's been fucked up. Uh, let's do that first. Um, and hey, by the way, get your dudes out of my, off my lawn. Okay. Uh, let's move around this way. Uh-oh. Uh oh, Archer Barbarians. Alright, I'm angry at this game. Still a little angry. I did not want to jump into conflict that quickly. Oh, uh, McMillander, thank you for joining. All right, we've advanced into the classical era because the we got the has civic here. For a change into a new and more powerful system of government. 
government. Let us strengthen our identity and enact more policies to govern our people. Okay. Divide and rule, a sound motto. Unite and lead, a better one. Gertha. All right. So, all right. So let's pick one of these things here. All classical republic. All cities with a district receive plus one amenity. 15% bonus great people points. Uh, autocracy. Uh, cap receives plus one boost while yields. That's cool. 10% bonus on wonder production. That'll be good. Um, oligarchy. All land units gain plus four combat strength. 20% experience for combat units. You know, I kind of want to go the actual historical route and go classical republic and then eventually move to autocracy. Um, but this doesn't really give me much of a benefit yet. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Now I can do Diplo policies. Um, Diplomatic League, your first envoy you sent to each city-state counts as two envoys. That's cool. Charismatic Leader, plus two influence points per turn towards earning city-state envoys. Um, um, I'm going to do this one, Charismatic Leader. Uh, wild card. There we go. Finally, revelation plus two great profit points per turn. Inspiration plus two great scientist points per turn. Uh, strategos. I'm gonna take the general. No, wait. You know what? I'll take the scientist points for that, and I can do a second economic policy. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. plus two gold from all trade routes. Uh, you know, I'm going to take the builder one because I'm going to be building builders. So there we go. Yep. Uh, yep. All right. So looks like the southern part of the continent is, is ours, basically. So we need to stay away from Brazil here, uh, which is uh, it's a shame, you know. So many bananas. Uh, drama and poetry, games and recreation. Uh, can build an arena? Coliseum, entertainment complex. Inchilai. Uh, economic policy. Plus one housing in all cities with these two specialty districts. Uh, drama and poetry. Uh, I'm going to go for the drama and poetry. If we build a wonder... It would we would get a bonus, but we don't have time to build a wonder that before this gets built, so neither one would work. All right, uh, next turn. Um, all right, where's uh, old Scouty boy? I'm gonna cross the river. He's probably gonna get killed by those archers. Well, he won't get killed by them, but he'll get attacked by the archers. Uh, did I speak too soon? No, I did. Um, who's that? A warrior? Um, I'll move over here, I suppose. Get out! Get out of my territory! No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, drat. My liege, we are beginning to attract the attention of the great people of the world. Of course, there are other leaders vying for their attention, too. Okay, so that's the great scientists and prophets and generals. Okay. So the more points specialized districts we construct, the more we will draw in specialized great people to share their talents with our civilization. I advise that we continue to build these. Okay. Cool. Um. You know what? I'm going to keep coming after this guy. I'm just going to explore south. All right.
There's the builder. All right, and move here. And oh, we got to remove it and then rebuild it. Oh, that sucks. How can we do this? All right. Pardon me. Good sirs. All right. Let's use production in Rome. Uh. Yeah, okay. So builders get burnt up. So. Yeah, I'm going to build the pyramids. Yeah. Fuck it. Just like ancient Rome. A man on a horse is spiritually as well as physically bigger than a man on foot. Oh, John Steinbeck. He's a big John Steinbeck fan. Um, yeah, All right, gotta remove the improvement. Uh, let's move along here. Uh, oh, we got tobac tobacco. Tobacco in the tundra. I think that is a John Steinbeck novel. Uh, I really want you people to get out of my life. All right. Yeah, I loved Canary Row. I loved East of Eden. Um, I don't know. Uh, currency. I think we should research currency because it's cheap. Yo, for real, get out, get out, get out of my immediate area, all you Brazilians. All right, now we can build a new quarry. And send these guys further south. Probably. Oh, there's copper down here. This actually might be a good place for like a port city. It's it's it's, it's kind of like DC. It's like all swampland. Um, all right, next turn. Brazil declared war on Brussels. Hey, that's not cool. Those are our friends. I wonder if that costs the same as actually building a new improvement. Uh, there's a bit of room down this way. Yes, <laughs> uh, thanks? <laughs> Did you come all the way here from Beijing? To, uh, all right, goodbye. Antium's growing. That's good. Uh, all right, so this is going to kill the builder. Oh, no, maybe not. Two builds. All right, well, let's let's see what happens. Uh, replace the cow pasture. Ooh, yes. Oh, the gentleman brought parkas. Fat Pat, episode 40. That's great. I hope you're uh, still enjoying it. There's lots more uh, after 40. All right. The cow is... Has been... All right. Uh, I am going to finally make use of this jade here. I shall be the jade regent. I don't keep making that joke. Um, do, do, do. I do like the music. Still, still, I'm liking the music, as angry as I am. Uh, oh yes, send send a droid to. Oh, I lost one at some point. 
What do they want? They want a trade route. Kumasi, what do you give me? Oh, culture. Yeah. Yeah. Do I have another one? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Do I earn envoys by through... Oh, points. I got like culture points or something. I think they said that. I can't remember. Uh, eesh, eesh. All right, and we will finally build. Your mining operation is giving the ability to create an axle. Will the wheel follow? Yeah, sure. What? How do the mining carts work? That's what I want to know. Next turn. What time is it? Fifteen more minutes. Wealth consists not in yes. having great possessions, but in having few wants. Excellent. Epictetus. By this, I can build a market. It's plus three gold, another citizen slots, and a great merchant point. And I can build a commercial hub district. Oh, that's great. So. Plus one great merchant point per turn. Plus two gold from each adjacent river. Plus two gold from each adjacent harbor. All right, that might be great for for Rome itself because it is built on the river. And as soon as we build some districts, that'll be that'll be nice. Right. Thank you, Talganites. That makes sense. All right, I'll keep moving along here. Oh, there's actual. Oh, there's the. Ice flows. Nice. Alright, pretty soon I gotta get another uh, uh, settler going. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's do the wheel, shall we? That's four turns. It's nothing. Antium. Excellent. Uh... Let's let's do another builder. Yeah, for now. All right. I just want to really build them up. Oh, oh, Brazil! Oh, congratulations! You made it to the classical era. Like we were only there like four hundred years ago. Whatever. Um, we will defeat them with the power of our sarcasm. Next turn. The poets have been mysteriously silent Aha. on the subject of cheese. <laughs> that's a that's a good point. All right, so we can build a an amphitheater, a theater square, and we've got literary tradition policy, great person policy. Okay, cool. All right. Oh, okay, yeah. So that's why we're earning envoys. Is through that policy there. Uh, got. Uh, I think we'll stick with the great scientists. I think we'll stick with all this. Um. Oh, you know what? I'm going to replace this with Corvée because we're. Maybe we can fill, finish the uh, pyramids sooner. Yeah. What is this? Okay. Uh, all right. What's next? Let's do gangs and wreck. Parks and wreck. Um, go to next turn. Do do do. Oh, you barbarian bastards. You barbarian jerks. Well, your lives are should be measured in moments, not years. Uh, all right, he's still moving. All right, cool. Finally, okay, we'll get, how do we? How do we strike with the city here? Uh, 
How does that work? How does the rain strike with the city? Ah, there we go. To the walls, archers, to the walls! And our warriors will make short work of you now. Yeah! And the horse you rode in on. Wow, did a number on us. Right, next turn. What? What happened? What happened? Don't reinvent the wheel. Just realign it. Okay. I have the wheels. So now we can build a water mill. Oh, that's great. And a heavy chariot. Hard-hitting ancient era heavy cavalry unit gains one bonus movement. If it begins on a turn on a flat tile with no woods, rainforest to hills, melee strength 28, movement 2. Great. Great. Uh, research. Um... Oh, yeah. We should have revealed iron. Oh, there's some iron. Um, sailing. I'm just going to do... Oh, engineering is quick. I'll just do that. Uh, who needs orders? You do. You always need orders. Uh-oh. Oh, you dirty barbarian scum. Alright, back in the city, and fortify you once again. And next turn. Oh, you jerks. Oh, you're dead. Come on, guys. Take him out. Oh. Oh, promotion available. Oh, we can't do it yet. Okay, but next turn we can. Uh, bum bum. Let's get off our pyramids. We need those. All right, these guys are gonna, gonna kill him. What? Hello. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I imagine I'm actually standing like on the walls on the slopes of the pyramids. Just getting shot at by my archers. Awesome. Right, let's move over here. Oh, yeah, cool. Can finish him off. Get that sweet XP, yo. Yeah. All right. Woe to any barbarian that comes within our borders now. Eesh. Eesh. Uh, Alright, you can go back to being fortified. And you can do the same. And you, I'll get you... Take that promotion. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'll take that. Nice, and then we'll get our health back up. Next turn, we will go after them again. Oh, man, this is... I am having fun. I was really upset and alarmed by that initial uh, burst of hostility towards my nation. But, but yeah, I'm, I'm feeling it again now. All right, let's... The Battle of the Snow People. Inuit find you here. Uh, Alright, next turn. Next turn. Oh, you're dead. You're dead. From the height of these oh. pyramids. Oh. 40 centuries look down on us. That's mine, right? Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Awesome. Gaze in awe at the great Roman pyramids. 
Love it. Woohoo! Aha, <laughs> that's great. Uh, what now? Um, watermill. That'll be good eventually. Rice and wheat resources gain plus one food. Yeah, yeah, because I got. I don't have the. I'll have the rice soon. I thought I had wheat here too. Now, um, let me build a district. Uh, and I still, so I don't, I know they're good next to mountains. Uh, I don't know if that helps. I'll do it there. A desert campus. Well, it's got to be nice. Like the kids can take field trips to the pyramids and stuff. That'll be cool for them. I, I honestly don't know if that's a good place to put it or not. <laughs> chill out, yeah. <laughs> Everyone chill out. Blood on the snow. Uh, right, who needs orders? You? Oh, the builder. I don't know how to build her. Um, why don't let's, let's do that. Let's build another mine there. Uh, who else needs orders? Oh, you do. Oh boy, I hope we can take these guys out. Yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> nice snowing you. Uh, Alright, end the turn. So he's just gonna fortify down there. Man, he's gonna be cold. Uh, all right, yeah, fortify till healed, and we'll continue to explore down there. You will uh, build a quarry. <laughs> Unfortunately, the city is gonna be a little ugly. The whatever the appeal rating is probably gonna be pretty low with all these quarries and stuff around here. But eh, what are you gonna do? Oh, there's more cows up there can reach those. And here. Yeah, this is a cow capital of Pangea. <laughs> uh, Alright, next turn. Please, allow you to allow us to return your friendship with ours. Uh, did we already do that? Sorry, I have a fear of commitments. I have commitment issues. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. We are grateful. I'm grateful too. You guys are great. Please stop being friends with England because they're at war with us. Oh man, you sneaks. Alright, something was built there. I forgot what we set up there. Right, the walls are done. Uh oh, I think it was a builder, which would be great. Oh, this is awesome. All this wheat we have. Uh, yeah, let's do a water mill. So let's move you up to harvest that wheat. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, let's build a farm up there. We'll eventually get to that rice at some point. Uh, got six surplus food. That's pretty. It's not. That's not shabby. You fucking ice holes. You know what? I know these guys. These Brazilians. They got beaten back by uh, Brussels here. I know that's what happened. Uh, I'm guessing that's what happened. I don't know. So they're running back home to their mommies. If bread is the first necessity of life, recreation is a close second. Okay. 
Um, yes, I should change the policy. This one at least, this Corvée, since we finished our wonder. Um, uh, let's go with back to urban planning. Uh, Revelation, and we'll stick with the great scientist points. No faith. Still not generating any faith. Three tourism. I don't know what that does. Uh, ten. I don't know if any of these numbers are good or not. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, let me know, anyone in the comments. Oh, we need another trade route. Yeah, we need a trade route. Yes. So, what are we building in Rome? Oh, let's use a new civic. Uh, it's defensive tactics, military training. Uh, theology. don't let's do defensive tactics right, who needs orders you need to go ahead and build a farm and you also need to build a farm sweet right next turn Settler too, so I need to be a uh, settler and a uh, trader. Uh, oh, does he built that? Uh, let's get these cows going. Great. Uh, oh yeah, let's build another quarry. This is great, man. See, this is what I like. I like doing the slow build. I like improving my empire and then building up a massive technological and military edge on everyone else and then unleashing hell. That's what I enjoy. That's how I enjoy playing. I don't know if I'll actually get to do that. I'm not good enough yet. One man's magic is another man's engineering. Ah, Heinlein. I, li I do like Heinlein. Big Heinlein fan. Uh, so we oh, we can build the bath. Oh, and catapults. Catapults! So have throw Launch all the looks that we can at them with that new technology. Uh, new research. Uh, iron working. We don't have access to iron, unfortunately. Not yet. Um, but it's still probably a good thing. Sailing is great if we were if we had a coastal city, which we don't yet. Ethereal, I gotta close down pretty soon here. I'll do it in like five minutes. Um, who's that? Builder. Uh, Huh. Um, I'll just skip you until we can get one of these other tiles up and running. Okay. Uh, oh, well, I guess I can build a farm. Uh, that's not great, though, because then I lose the builder. I kind of want to wait till I expand to... Uh, this rice here. Uh, so I'll just keep skipping him. Uh oh. You barbarian scum! Get out of my life! Oh, and the English are here too. You dang jags. Uh, alright. Warriors awake! Oh, 
I'll never catch him. Uh, all right, just start building the pasteurize, pasteurize the region. Great. Uh, next turn. Do 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 do. Um. All right, let's head over to that jade area. Uh. Oh, green sleeves. <laughs> awesome. Uh, yeah, let's skip. Is that because the English are invading my territory finally? Check out this. This campus is awesome. It's charming. It has a charming appeal. I guess it's actually, it's fine. I guess we had to build something here. Some district there because as a desert, it's otherwise useless. Um, oh, that jade produces culture. That's cool. What does this do? I don't know. Horses. What do the cows give me? One production, three food. All right. Uh, ah, yes, Rome. Okay. Ooh, a library. No, uh, we have to build a trader. So we can finally get one of our um, trade routes sorted out. Skip your turn. How's that warrior down here doing? Oh, almost, almost ready to go. <laughs> do, 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 do. All right, and we'll call it a mine. Nice. Just one more turn. <laughs> the classic dilemma. Invincibility lies in the defense. The possibility of victory in the attack. Great. Uh, the two new policies. Oh, no military policies because we're a republic. Okay. So, is there anything good here? Mm. Oh. Oh. I thought we were going to switch this out. I thought we did. Let's do this so we can finally start building settlers again. Uh, we'll choose a new civic. Uh, they all, I want to found a religion. How do you do that? I really want to found a religion. Mm. Uh, military training. It's Rome. We'll do military training. Uh, All right, so that's built. Aha, sugar. Can we? I don't think we can exploit that. <laughs> No, I have I have a whole plan because you used to be able to invent your own religion uh, with the gods and something expansion for the last civilization game. I know what I want to. I don't know if you can do that though. I don't, I think you might not be able to invent your own religion, but we'll see. All right, we'll skip you. Aha! Finally, back in the game. I'm back in the saddle again. Uh oh, spearman. Oh, drat. There's iron here. Pig iron. Pig iron. I got all pig iron. Well, all right. So what I can do... This is a good place for another city because I know I want that iron. And there's wheat down here. There's deers. Uh, I can build a city right here on the... Lower Volga, whatever this is. Um, let me go like here. So, 
Yeah, this should be this should be good, I would think. Or maybe like here, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, somewhere down there. Great profits I need for religion. Okay. Alright, well I'm not really building one yet. Uh and I need to start generating faith too, I assume. Um All right, these warriors have no chance against these barbarians here. <laughs> That's a shame, Togonite. That would have been fun. Ah, new envoy. Awesome. Uh, wonders, buildings, and districts. Plus two culture in the capital. Plus two production in the capital. Uh, let's... Kumasi, you're you're our friends. I'm gonna get more culture by having you on our side. Awesome. More deers, more deers. I wish I had another scout. Oh, look at all this! I don't even know what all this is. <laughs> uh. All right, I, let's see, uh, let's see, save game. Uh, I gotta call it, I gotta go to bed. Um, but uh, thank you all so much for joining me for this first edition of Civ 6. Uh, I think I'm getting the hang of it. Thank you for all the help and advice that you've given me. Uh, and I will not be able to play, actually, I'm no, I will not be able to play tomorrow night, but perhaps uh, Tuesday night I'll be able to jump on again. Uh, thanks for joining me. Um, have a good week. I will see you all soon.